my name is Andrew Flushi, and I'm your Virginia traffic attorney. One issue that comes up for clients, uh, unfortunately, is sometimes people have violations on their ignition interlock. As you'll recall, that if you're found guilty of a DUI in Virginia and you get a restricted license, you will need to get ignition interlock for at least six months. So what happens if you have a violation? Well, first of all, a violation for interlock is basically uh, any alcohol reading. Um, and it's kind of different what happens based on who your ASAP case manager is, quite frankly, and what ASAP office you're in. Typically what I see in the Fredericksburg area is that in the, for the first violation of interlock, typically if you're honest about that and report that to ASAP, that your case manager may classify you for some additional services such as treatment or AA meetings. But typically I, I don't see people return to court in the Fredericksburg area for one violation of their interlock. However, once you hit that second violation, that's where it can start to be a problem. Sometimes still, depending on your overall case, you may not be returned to court, uh, but sometimes you may be returned to court for that second or certainly your third violation, it looks like. The problem is judges treat these very harshly, and if you are facing interlock violations, you, I would say, are likely looking at some period of jail time. Actual jail and how much we're talking and what we can do to avoid that depends on the court that you're in and the judge that we have for your ASAP violation hearing. And that's definitely a reason why you need to contact me so we can discuss what happened in your case, if, we, if maybe the interlock malfunctioned, or if maybe it wasn't you who blew into it, um, or some other defense you might have. But we can also discuss mitigating factors if you did indeed blow into it um, and, and it was a good reading. Uh, perhaps you just had a, a weak time and you made a mistake. Uh, we can discuss how we can argue to the judge to try to minimize that jail time uh, and maybe keep you out of jail depending on the factors. Um, so that's something that we definitely should discuss if you're facing an interlock violation here in Virginia.